the very first time I remember playing a solo in one of those rehearsals after he played and reinvented the universe in his solo. And then it's my turn. And I'm like looking at these things and I'm like, wow, when he played, it sounded like F blues real easy. Now it's like a, a minefield. I'm getting blown up. And his comping is like Muhammad Ali in the ring. with, And it's like, bam, boom, boom, bam, bam. And it's rhythmically so powerful. And I feel like I'm just getting blown out of the room. And also I feel like, you know, I got to learn how to have more rhythmic power when I play so that when I play a phrase, I mean what I say and it sticks. That's what he did for all of us. You could not halfway mean a phrase. Mm -mm. The comp would just blow it out to sea. You know, like <laughs> you mean that and it's going to stick and you put it in the pocket and, you know, Dave made it easy to know where that was. So it was on us. Sometimes. <laughs> to, um, but, but that just the comping was so deep. And it made, I mean, it made us all stronger. Hmm. We yeah. had to, otherwise we were going to get destroyed. <laughs> like yeah. He was so strong, you know, and it, in the most beautiful way. And at the same time, you know, his accompaniment would help shape the arc of your solo so much that it was so weird for me. Like I played in that band. Sometimes I go play with other people and I would be blowing and the, the comping was not like that anymore. So I felt like, hey, what, what happened? Usually there's a you know, we do a thing, you know, we have this and it's gone. <laughs> yeah. And well, so his, that was deep. <clears throat> yeah. His, uh, you know, um, it's, we were, and we still are, we're Bernie and I are in the middle of, they invited me in to help mix this new record. That's a compilation of live performances that we did over the last few years. And, um, and I'm still learning about it, you know, about his idea of solo comp, you know, cause and Bernie was doing the same thing that we're, we would mix the soloist, you know, up a little bit and bring the comp back a little bit, you know, a little, you know, just to make sure everything was being heard. And, and everything we presented to Chick back in November and December, you know, he was like, no, 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 no. Turn the piano up and turn mm -hmm. the soloist down. Make it, it's a dialogue. It's a conversation. You know, it's always, you know, this and this and this. So that was truly his, you know, his feeling about it. And it's if you, if you mix it that way and you actually listen, it kind of makes sense because he's, you know, it's about that. He was just always listening, you know, and man, it's the, the live performances. You, you all got a lot to look forward to with this record. It's killing. It's going to be so good. It's a, well, it's a beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, record. his ears were so strong. Like you'd be playing and all of a sudden you'd be playing unison because he heard yeah. where you were going and he played exactly yeah. what you were going to play. Yeah. Before you knew you were going to play it. So yeah. and sometimes right. we would just start laughing. Like I'd be playing and all of a sudden it'd be like there would be a phrase and he we would play the exact same. I would look at him like, how the heck did you do that? Right. Exactly. Yeah, we'd, you'd be, you'd, you didn't know, I mean, the band always just felt like whenever we were playing, you know, it was just easy to play well, you know, to play your best, you know, rarely did you feel like, oh, man, I just couldn't connect. I think for me, it was, you know, a combination of playing with you guys. And then with Chick, the way he would respond in comp, it was just so great. It would be like, you know, he would just be like laying this beautiful buffet of the most incredible meal you ever saw in your life and just all you have to do is pick that and pick that and pick that and no matter what you do it was going to be great because chick just created this band that all you have to do is jump in you know and also it was just and and uh i remember frank you said this a million times but i never got to the point where i never you know well put it this way put it in the positive every time we were ever on stage i'd look over and i'd say damn that's that's Chick Korea, you know, <laughs> I'm on stage with Chick Korea, and, and it was such a, a pride in that, that mm. it just, it was, an, and every time we would, we would want, you know, we'd be in the, in the, uh, you know, the, the green room getting ready to go on stage, and Chris would say, okay, five minutes, and, and we'd start walking towards the stage, and there was just, you could always just sort of feel this, this, um, you know, unintended puffing of the chest, like, yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna blow these people's minds. You know, this is gonna be great, and we just had such a have such a pride about um, about what we were doing, and the fact that it was it was Chick, and and we were like in this in Chick's band. I just can't tell you the the pride that I still feel. You know, I mean, as as awful as as this past month has been, you know, I just am so grateful of having had you know, a lifetime of a career with you guys and, and with Chick and, uh, you know, it's indescribable. Mm -hmm. It brings us all to tears, but, but it's also just, um, 
you know, uh, you know, the gratitude is is the, the love and gratitude has been like, the, you know, the main yeah. the main feeling, frankly. Well, I'll and, tell you, I you know, he um, <clears throat> the one thing that that always just blew me away with with Chick, of course, his musicianship and his you know um, his ability to you know to write and compose. I mean, he just was music, you know, without it goes without saying. But what always blew me away was his energy level. Right. And oh, yeah. and this never went away. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, the guy was almost twenty years older than mo than most of us, and he made us look like you know old men in comparison. Sometimes, you know, it just the energy level was was off the charts, and it was so inspiring and so invigorating that it was it was kind it kind of went hand in hand with the musical. Um, you know, aspect of having to have your your stuff together, right? It mm -hmm. kind of also put you in a position that it was like, man, there's there's like there's no slacking here. You know, it's like he no. he's the the <laughs> ultimate consummate you know leader of of inspiration. You know, you know uh, we used to do uh, when we played Blue Note, for example, in New York. Oh, we would God. do two full concerts a night. I mean, and we would do it for six nights straight. Yeah, that was us. And then he that would was do us. it. And then he would do another <laughs> 10 bands in a row. But, yeah, you know, the, just... the Monday was off for the for the ticket sales, but he would be rehearsing the next band for the next week. Yes. Oh. But what, what blew me away is, you know, after the shows, we'd all be in the dressing room, uh, you know, it felt like we were hit by a Mack truck. And he would go, hey, guys, I got these guys. I want you to introduce you to blue, blue. You know, he was just a powerhouse. I know. Incredible I know. I, I know. For me, as a as you know, as a drummer, and especially you know, because I, I used to play a lot harder. I have you know hand problems occasionally, and you know body issues, and and you know chicks <laughs> all with all the playing he he you know oh, do. Yeah. And, I, and I and I asked him you know recently, like the last tour that we were together. I said, Chick. I said, Don't you? Aren't your hands ever hurt? You know, don't you? Aren't you? And he's like, No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he just had, he just had, I, well, he would say, yeah, when you play too loud. Okay. I, so I, <laughs> that was in the acoustic, that was in the acoustic trio. So that I was like, yep. Yeah, okay. I get it. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, with all, with all the playing he, he would do, he had such command over the instrument and, you know, his way of, of approaching the piano and playing it. And it was just a, yeah, all was all cylinders firing, uh, all energy, of the universe happening within him when he was playing, that it was mm -hmm. just, it just kind of almost, he wasn't almost doing it, you know, it was just uh, amazing.